This is a next weather alert from CBS News Miami. Back now with that weather alert, South Florida under a heat advisory, taking a live look outside right now. Current temperatures at 90 degrees feels mm. much hotter than that. I don't know if there's actually a game at Lone Depot Park, but good <laughs> thing they have the roof to kind of keep cool there. I think they're on an away series. Yeah, so. they are. Yeah. They are. They're in Seattle. <laughs> you can tell it's kind of <laughs> hazy yeah. and hot. You can just tell the sky. Next for the Chief Meteorologist and Hurricane Specialist Ivan Carrera joining us. And man, we're used to hot, but this is a whole nother level. It is it? a whole other level. In fact, it's a heat advisory that we haven't seen since back in July 2020. So it is a big deal. And remember, we don't get heat advisories or heat watches or warnings unless we have humidity. We could be in the mid and upper 90s for air temperatures, which would be rare. Uh, but without the humidity, that wouldn't uh, you know prompt a heat advisory. It's all about not being able to cool. And when your body can't cool, that's when we get ourselves into trouble. Now, National Weather Service has extended the heat advisory. It's not going to be through the overnight, but from noon to seven each day from now till Friday, we're going to continue with that. So again, as we talk about limit outdoor activities, stay hydrated and take a lot of breaks if you can, because this is going to continue over the next few days. Now, what we have, though, is a little bit of assist and assist from our showers and thunderstorms that have been going here, and that has allowed for temperatures to cool off somewhat. So we're 104 Lauderdale, but that's the uh, reading at the top of the hour. Look what's happening as we speak. We've got thunderstorms that are moving through, so obviously that is going to cool things off big time here. Not just in Fort Lauderdale, but sunrise as we head into Weston. This little uh, bank of showers here has now are now seeing uh, some lightning strikes as well. All of this will continue pushing off to the north and east. And then we have this batch as well that is also going in that direction. So our sea breeze helping us out. We have enough uh, low level moisture. We've been talking about dry air up above. But if you have the sea breeze, which we do every day and you have enough moisture, we can pop some thunderstorms. There is a list of who is next with this particular cell in Broward and then following it, it's pushed steps will be this one here. So that's also going to head off to the north and east and likely get you in Fort Lauderdale with some cooling showers, not severe. So we'll take it. Just keep in mind, we do have a few lightning strikes embedded with that rainfall quiet for the rest of Miami Dade. Our computer model doing a perfect job of initializing here, setting up the atmosphere as it is. And so as we push this further into the evening, you'll notice things will continue to kind of weaken. But there are those outflow boundaries that we talk about. So additional showers could develop and then eventually push off to the east as well once they materialize uh, later on this evening. So we're looking pretty hot for tomorrow. No question. Thursday into Friday. It's a south to southwest wind that is ushering in just a steam on top of South Florida here. We will have some spotty showers, but I think for tomorrow, it is going to be one of the driest days of our wet season. I don't think we're going to have much in the way of precip. You'll see that on Rain Tracker here with that advisory continuing right through the end of the week. And then storms do increase. This is a change for the weekend. So keep in mind, we're not going to continue with dry conditions. So I don't think we'll need advisories here for heat Saturday and Sunday. We'll have enough storms to keep us uh, you know, cooler than we will be the next couple of days. Look at this uh, 12 o'clock. We'll have a couple showers here. Uh, that's about it. That's anemic for rain tracker compared to uh, where we've been the last uh, couple of weeks. Next seven days, always checking the tropics for you, and there's nothing out there to be concerned of right now. There's the forecast for tomorrow. 90s with just very small rain chances, only at about 20%, but we do continue the next alert because of the heat Thursday and Friday before we begin to increase rain chances and lower the temperature as well, or at least, you know, shrink the time that we're going to spend with temps that'll feel like they're in the 100s.